the world. This is Barbara for day 10 of the VEDA challenge, the vlog every day in August challenge. Um, yes, I'm in Sveracavallo at Barcarello. It's really beautiful here. But I'm late today because I had no connection and I just posted on Twitter that I'm, I will be late today because I can't go live and then it worked. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's life. Go to Capogallo. Yeah, that's the way I'm walking. But I'm really afraid that the connection is uh, going away again. So I don't know if I should move or I should just wait here while uh, until we finished and, and then go there and take some photos and post them on Twitter so you can see them. Um, I'll try to move and hope that it's not... What is that? Is that... I can't... Oh, it's a boat! Cool, yeah. There are many boats over there. Actually, Sferacavallo is a really nice fishing village and um, you can have really, really, really good fish here and seafood. So when you have enough of Mondello and you want to go somewhere else and you still have some days in Palermo or around Palermo, come here because it's really, really beautiful. Another reason to come here is because Mondello, as you perhaps have seen in my other videos, um, is really crowded in summer. So <laughs> if you want to go somewhere where the locals in summer go, this is your place. Um, you can reach it by bus, but I would recommend to come here by car because it's just way more comfortable and um, there are not so many buses to come here. Although it's better to come here by bus because the buses to Mondello are so crowded that sometimes you have to wait for one, two, three, five buses, four, I forgot four. Um, um, until you can go to Mondello because it, it's just too full, you can't get in. Yeah, now I'm here, it's really beautiful. The island over there is Isola delle Femmine. Um, that's actually the next beach from here. It's really, really nice as well and I think many locals go there as well. That's more the sandy beach while uh, Sferacavallo is mostly rocks. As you can see, there is a little bit of sand in the, let's call it city center, <laughs> but it's really small, so um, yeah, like the main part of Sferacavallo. There is a bit of sand and it's, it's quite crowded there too, so if you come here, you should definitely enjoy the water here close to the rocks and yeah, as you can see, here's almost nobody. Il tramonto di um, that's true. Um, if you go to the other beach, Isola delle Femmine, the um, sunset is not over the island that you can see over there. It's uh, see, um, it's like next to the island. It's really, really beautiful. The sun is going down there, so um, you can really enjoy it. While from Mondello, this is not. Ah, uh, yes, I couldn't. I couldn't read it. I'm sorry. Um, well, the sunset in Mondello is, I think, over the mountain, so it's not really interesting. If you want to see a really nice sunset, go to Isola delle Femmine. Um, I wanted to talk to you about co-living today. Um, you probably have heard about co-working. Tell us about the weather. Yeah, of course, if you want to. It's hot. I think 35 degrees or so. Um, I was working the whole day in a bikini on my computer in the garden of a cousin of mine in, in next to Mondello in Partanna. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And um, actually, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Yesterday was just like um, I saw in the weather forecast that it would be raining and there wasn't even one drop coming down. It's really dry and I, th I think uh, some rain wouldn't be too bad, but yeah, that's the weather here in Sicily in August. It's just super hot and oh, now we're coming to, yeah, some people. Buongiorno. Siamo in diretta per il mondo. Now, makeup is probably not the 
best thing here. It will just melt away. <laughs> um, so just leave it away and be natural. I'm pretty sure you're beautiful, natural as you are. Um, co-living. So co-working, working together in co-working spaces. <laughs> um, and co-living is the next step, the next level. So you don't only work together, you live together, kind of. So there are places, there are a bit like hostels, or I saw as well camp lodges, where you live, co-live and co-work together the whole time. And it's a really creative space and um, you get a lot of motivation and inspiration from that. So I can really recommend that to everybody who's working location independent, as a freelancer, online entrepreneur, whatever, because you can really get a lot out of it. You inspire each other. That's it. Do you have any more questions? Hearts, thank you. Whoever that was, I can't see that. Thanks for the hearts. Yeah, it's a really, really, really nice place. I think I will go another bit further and put the photos on Twitter. So follow me there, make sure you can see them. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, at B Barbara Licious. Follow me, make sure you turn the notification for this vlog on every day, 5 p.m. Central European summer time. If I have the connection, if not, I'm a bit later. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it worked out in the end. So, I think I, I will stay here for another while and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And tomorrow we will either, I'm not sure, go on the Monte, Monte Pellegrino or to Cefalu. Haven't decided yet, but one of the two things it will possibly be. So stay tuned, join me on my trips and yeah, have a really nice afternoon. Bye, see you tomorrow guys.